Ironing, I mean, it's not usual. I iron it to hold my eye. What's your problem? <laughs> Beef jerky. But this is the real one, this is the real build up. Mm. And the temptation to open and take a little was too much. Mm. But I said, no, I can't open, it's not my daughter. Now that my daughter has opened and I go out, I can feel I need some salt. <laughs> I said, can I taste as well? So, how did you answer? I said, you know what biltong tastes like. <laughs> you, ta you taste things when you don't know what they taste like to see. You know what it tastes like. Under the bed, after just giving me a morocco bed, my wife, a I will be allowed to taste just a little. Just a little. Don't you know how biltong tastes? Look at me, we are making noise for people. Don't you know how biltong tastes? That's gross. Yeah. It's lamb chops and bent chips. That's the style. Hmm? That's the style. Might be a bent. So what do we have here? The ever reliable ribeye. Mm -hmm. You never go wrong with ribeye. Never go wrong. Yes, my. Is this a ribeye? Mm. Uh, she changed here. I ordered it. I, I changed. copied there. She changed. It. So yeah. I stayed here. Uh. I can see I'm salivating. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is why you shouldn't have kids because you want to eat your food. It's your food you ordered for yourself. Here comes this person. She even lives close to you to come eat your food. Okay? Someone to even move close to you to eat your food. What can they do? And you can tell the person isn't even moving. They don't take, take, take and go. They even just sit here. You'll be late for work. Can you just go? No, oh, because of work, not because I'm eating your food. <laughs> so that you can work and buy me more food. <laughs> Which you come and eat. Now that I'm done here, yeah, I'm gonna go that side. If I thought you would touch here, touch here. Yeah, now I'm here. Let's share. Can I have a piece of meat, please? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, go and have your beauty. Wow! <laughs> 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 you uh, mm. The is in the hotel. Mm. You see, fresh water not in fish. I was wondering why you're buying fish. <laughs> <laughs> I got short ribs. Mm. No, it's not far. I'm gonna over. So that I show you I'm not like you. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm going to deal with your blue tongue. You must, that, that, that's the retainer. Hmm? I'm going to deal with the blue tongue. Mm -hmm. Relax. The, the people shall share. The next day. Hi besties, so a little bit of context about this here vlog. This is the day after my parents arrived. I had a bunch of meetings and this was their rest day. So this is going to be a pretty chill vlog. We didn't do much recording, but I hope you enjoy it. Okay, subscribe. Thank you. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. I went to get my parents at the airport yesterday. So now today is Tuesday. Um, I have a meeting at one o'clock. It's 12 right now. And my parents are coming to my place for the first time later on today, which means I need to clean up my place. I've been, um, I call it sick because period pains for me is a form of sickness because it cripples just like sickness. Um, so I've been very sick, which means that dishes have piled up in my house and so i need to do some of these dishes before my parents arrive so they don't think i live like a 
I don't even know what. Last time they came, they were teasing me because my fridge is empty. I'm happy and proud to report and announce that this time my fridge is not empty, so they can't clown me over my fridge being empty. And even last year, I had a reason for it being empty, and let me just tell you that right now. But anyway, um, I'm gonna do some dishes as many as many as I can before my meeting. Then I'm gonna take the shuttle bus, go to North Campus. I live on South Campus now. I used to live on North, now I live on South. Go to North Campus, have my meeting. Mm, I need to have another mini, mini meeting. I need to go to the mail room to pick up some mail and have another mini meeting again. And then I'm gonna come back here, wrap up my cleaning. I think my parents will come around then. I also need to pick up my graduation gown and stuff. I don't know if I should wait for my parents and I'll do that with them. Maybe I will actually keep them out of my house a little bit longer uh but <laughs> yeah so yeah that's just what i'm doing right now and uh, let's do these dishes about you looking up you're not looking down and i stepped on a bird and my heart is so sore like my heart is so sore i stepped on a bird there it is over there can you guys see it and i i think it's hurt because it was on the floor and then and then i stepped on it i didn't step on it with full force you know because it it, it 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 hopped away but it didn't fly so i think it's hurt and i'm sure it's cold I feel so bad. I'm not going to touch it because I'm scared of birds, baby. I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I mean, I feel guilty and I feel horrible and I won't do it again. But yeah, we're not going to touch it. We don't play like that. But look at it. I feel so bad. Well, first of all, I felt scared primarily because I'm very scared of birds. And then after my fear went away, my guilt kicked in because I don't want to harm animals. Like, do you guys see how this bird is just sitting here by the door injured, hurt? Somebody needs to do something. Not me, but somebody. Like, all these white people here, you know they love animals, they love birds. They gonna pick it up with their hand, cup it, and be like, oh my God, take it home, feed it. One of them should really do something about this bird. Again, not me, but somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, oh, blood of Jesus, step in the bird. What's that mean? Let's have to get out of here. It's graduation season and people are taking their graduation photos. Y'all remember this is me last year with my parents. Anyway guys, so that was my final meeting for my job. Now this job that I did, it paid for my tuition. So because I did this job, I didn't get paid any money, but they paid for my tuition. That's how I ended up doing my master's for free without paying anything. And so I don't have any student loans or debt. Great. Um, that was the final meeting for this job and I'm officially done with it. But the person who I was supposed to meet with forgot and didn't show up, which is unfortunate because obviously like that's my time that I could have used for something else and stuff. Um, not to mention, I've been complaining all morning because literally my bones hurt. My bones hurt. Like my period is trying to, oh, it's trying to finish me. Hey, it's trying to make sure that I don't make it out of this one. So I've been in pain the whole time. And obviously, if this meeting was not going to happen, I would have preferred to um, just stay home <laughs> and not drag myself and literally my cracking bones out of my bed. But it's fine anyway because I had to stop by the mail room. I am going to hop into the international house where for international students because I need to ask them about my start date for my job, some visa information since I'm graduating. So because I'm graduating, I'm changing visas 
Sorry guys, I'm crossing the streets and I need to be like, I'm not dying. I'm changing visas, so I need to find out some information about that. Um, it's so weird coming to the end of everything. Hey guys, so I'm at the bookstore. Oh my gosh, look at this, this is so adorable. I was today years old when I realized I need a little pig. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at it. I love stuffed animals so much. Like, so much, and I don't know why. But, like, I love it. And look at this one. It's so adorable. If you ever want to know what to get me as a gift, you can always get me a stuffed animal. Because I just love bears. And they must have t shirts on. I love when stuffed animals have tops on. Anyway, um,. I am at the bookstore. Um, I'm here to fetch my graduation regalia, my gown, my cap. So the sucky thing about the whole graduation thing is that your gown, like your undergrad gown is different from your master's gown, which means you can't just use your undergrad gown for masters because they're different and capitalism. But anyway, this is the thing I got for my dad and yeah, the mom one, it's actually sold out, eh? I came, I got it at a good time, the mom one is sold out. Anyway, gonna get this graduation outfit because we are graduating summa cum laude, even though they don't say that, but in my heart, I know, and that's all that matters. Thanks. Thank you so much. Got it. Okay, thank you. Stay in My dad's there washing the dishes. Yes. Like yes, the responsible yes, man that he is. Yes. Who yes. takes care of his family and his household. How are you feeling? Very nice. And uh, you say you're hungry. Uh, me and your mom cook for you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. what are you seeing? Uh, stop lying. Stop lying. Mm -hmm. So it's not the two of you who cook. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not. like it's not the two of us washing plates. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, you know that plate, you know, he's only watching because you have arrived, so uh, that you can take a video. That's uh, the only purpose. He's only watching for the camera. Uh, he's watching for the camera. Did uh, I say take a video? No. No. <laughs> it doesn't look <laughs> like it's something I'm not used to. Oh. No? <laughs> uh, so you're saying you cook by yourself? So. No, 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 no. We cook together. Yeah. No, when I cook, he cooks. Huh? We cook together. Uh, 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 it's, it's like kutamba uh, wedam basami. Who is seated? Who's who's in the kitchen? Who is seated? Who's in the kitchen? Just show, show them. <laughs> Just can show around. Who is in the kitchen? And uh, who's enjoying Instagram? Mm. So how was your day today? What did you guys do? Uh, nice day. Uh, we woke up, tried to get some breakfast, and uh, we realized that this place is a little bit dead. Mm. And then Mama suggested that no, no, no. Let's rather go to Walmart mm. to buy things that we can cook for ourselves, which I think was uh, a very good idea. Mm. So we went there. So this is the convenience of this hotel compared to the other one. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And uh, I think the good time to, for you to comment will be after you have eaten. Oh, and that will be a good time. Uh, that you will talk, mm. and uh, I think you can see your face. It's how clean That's it is. That's the level at which I can see. I've been. Uh, at the university, no one was cooking for me. I was cooking for myself. I was ironing for myself. Making eggs. So, <laughs> eggs and fish. Yeah, that's what I could afford. So that was not out of you know, you know what you said on the, on the, on the, on the, on the video? Yeah. You said, you see the steak I cooked? Uh, I matured this steak before cooking. <laughs> I'm sure he went and slaughtered the cow himself. <laughs> yes. Mm. In the pump and brought it here. No, when we were in the shop at Walmart, uh -huh. it's me who said, let's choose a stock that's already matured. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Because you know there are those that they put uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. which they've already matured. Uh -huh. 
The steak was not mature that we bought. There's a difference between an ordinary steak that was cut and mature steak. How many days do they mature steak? What is written in the packaging? Uh, I think oh. <laughs> this. <laughs> this. Me, I don't even know what a mature steak is personally, so. Yes. <laughs> Guys, please look at their fridge. This fridge, you know, this fridge is more full than mine that you saw last year. So your fridge in America is better than mine. <laughs> no, no, please, we can't talk about that fridge. It's, it's embarrassing. Please, that fridge, it's embarrassing. For a CA, that fridge is embarrassing. So the, the least we talk about it, the better. Mm. Uh -huh. This fridge is so full, guys. These people, these people are not going home. Huh? 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 Where's my built on? No, your built on is safe. When um, ask her who ironed your clothes, uh, I was ironing. Mama, who ironed your clothes? I did. Do you have video evidence? Who's, uh, who's washing dishes? Who's washing dishes? Uh, uh, ask, you will, mm. say, you will say I, I did. So mm. that will give you an idea. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you're saying when you were ironing, what was happening? No, I'm ironing. This. I'm, I'm ironing. I mean, it's not usual. I iron at home. I iron. What did he say? I'm ironing. I mean, it's not usual. I iron at home. I iron. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? What's your problem? Do you iron for me? Ah. Do you iron for me? I don't live at home. Yeah, if you're home, you iron for me. <laughs> Do you see my my, my toes not being ironed? I okay, ironed. Okay, I ironed. Okay. So let's finish the ironing. Uh -huh. I iron. Mm. I didn't see someone and I go the final so I, I, I've never seen something ironed like this. Please don't spoil it. I'm wearing it. I said, but this is not the best of me. <laughs> I'm not even halfway. <laughs> Why are you not recording? Mm. <laughs> now I must record, yes? Tell me. Uh, uh, Papa, please, we don't wash the dishes and leave the sink with particles like this. Ah, he's not hearing me. <laughs> <laughs> you seem so ahead, disappointed, like, yeah, no, he must no, hear me. he must hear me. Go and call him. Go and nudge him. He must hear me. Okay. You cannot say I wash dishes and leave, leave it like this. Okay. Uh-uh. Okay. Go and nudge him. You must come back here. Uh, she said you must listen to her. Yeah. Uh, please come back. You wash dishes, all right? Mm. Hey, what? He says, come, come and check the, bring your dad here. He says he washes dishes. He likes to be pulling. Look at how he has left the sink with particles. The five dukes. Uh, is this how you find the five dukes? You know, you know, yeah. people do things differently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I come and clear up. Come so and clear then up. come and sit down. Uh, because if you I'm want me to come and clear up, come and sit down. Yes, I'm coming. Okay, yeah. it's fine. I'll clear up. I'll clear up. Stay there because you're making me food. You're making me food. Stay. Uh -huh. I never want to tell people. No, he lies I'll, to people that he does it. I'll clear so up. It does it, let it, let I'll clear up it. the sink. You make yeah. me food. I'll clear up the sink. Yeah. Hey. Oh, but your braids are nice. It's so easy to cook this. Mm. I just put butter, uh, salted pepper, mm. and some other spices, and then I chop the vegetables. Did you did you buy the vegetables? Like, was it a veggie pack, or you bought them one by one and cooked them? Bought them one by one, and chop and mix them. I must say you enjoyed the matured steak. No. Well, uh, you know I'm not in a competition. I accept my wife cooks well. Mm. There's no two ways about it. I'm not about to compete with my wife mm. on cooking. She teaches me and I embrace mm -hmm. what she's teaching me. She's teaching mm -hmm. me to cook. Mm -hmm. She's, she's teaching wet. me to wash dishes. Mm -hmm. She's teaching me to iron even if I iron better than her. Wow. You know the student must be must uh, course, outdo the of course. the teacher. You don't teach your student to be better than you. Yeah. Huh? You want the bigger one? No, half is fine. I'll take off. You take off. But can I have the fat? Which one has the fat? This one. The other one. This one has more fat. Yeah. So that stick is another thing like that. It's quite nice. Maybe I show them. Yeah. Put it in the microwave. This is nice. I'll send it to you, Moss. 
Did you see that? I did. What did they say? <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? Uh, they say I'm talking because I'm so happy to go to church. Mm. Yeah, wow. They're making you a toy, Mas. Uh, hey. Guys, ever since my parents came, I've taken on the role of an executive assistant managing their diary. Their diary is more busy than mine, more hectic than mine. So every day I have to like, Mrs. Gobeni, you have a lunch at uh, two o'clock. You have a meeting at five. You have a group discussion at, that's what I'm doing every day. She's managing their diary. What kind of fame is this that you have? Huh? You what? What are you talking about? I'm saying where well, I have to manage your diary. You're a very busy woman. <laughs> I mean, I'm a cooking mom.